right, take okay. two. It's still better than ours. <laughs> okay, BSI pin man, uh, it's bodily substance isolation, personal safety, partner safety, patient safety, environmental hazards, number of patients, mechanism of injury, additional resources, and need for extrication or C-spine approaching from the feet. I'm going to delegate my partner to hold manual stabilization of the head in a neutral inline position. I'm also going to look for any major bleeding, delegating bleed control. I'm going to approach uh, the patient, see if the patient's tracking me. He's not. Sir, sir, are you okay? No response. Trap pinch. No response. Painful stimuli. I'm going to check pulses, uh, see for presence of pulse. Patient has a pulse. Go to my ABCs. Airway is it open, clear, maintainable. Any need for suction or airway adjuncts? Breathing, I'm gonna check the rate depth ease. Uh, I'm also gonna check the lung sounds, mid-clavicular, mid-axillary. I'm gonna check the SpO2. Gotta place the patient on appropriate oxygen, uh, depending on those. I'm gonna check the pulse, uh, rate, rhythm, quality, skin signs, color, moisture, temperature, capillary refill. And I'm gonna cut and expose, look for any major life-threatening hemorrhaging. I'm going to make my transport decision. This is based off my seven load and go criteria, which is altered level of consciousness, compromised ADCs, uncontrolled hemorrhaging, abnormal chest, tender abdomen, unstable pelvis, and bilateral femur fractures. I'm going to uh, delegate my partner to prep the backboard, get a sample history on the patient, and get a full set of vitals. I'm going to start my rapid head to toe, which is going to be checking the head for decap ELS, and blood on glove. DCAP VLS is deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, penetrations, burns, lacerations, swelling. I'm gonna go to the neck, I'm looking for uh, any DCAP VLS, tracheal deviation, jugular vein distension, stoma, medical alert tags, and subcutaneous emphysema. Checking the back of the neck for step off, point tenderness, and blood on glove. I'm gonna size and place my C collar on the patient. Now I'm going to the chest, looking for any decap VLS, sucking chest wound, paradox movement, flail segment, and any impaled objects. I'm going to uh, palpate anterior posterior, lateral medial, checking for tick, which is tenderness, instability, crepitus, and I'm going to reassess my lung sounds. Going to the abdomen, observing for uh, decap VLS and any evisceration. I'm going to palpate for uh, tenderness, rigidity, distension, guarding, hot belly, and pulsating masses. I'm going to go to the pelvis. Observing for decap VLS, vaginal discharge and continence of priapism, palpating anterior posterior, lateral medial, checking for tick. Going to the upper thighs, palpating offset pressure, checking for tick and observing for decap VLS. I'm at the knees, this is my second transport decision. If anything's changed, I'll change my uh, transport. Uh, observe the uh, lower legs for decap VLS, palpate offset pressure for tick, checking pulse. Motor, can you wiggle your toes for me? What toe am I touching? What toe am I touching? Capillary refill. Going to the upper arms, palpating for uh, tick with offset pressure, observing for decap VLS, uh, palpating uh, pulse. Motor, can you wiggle your fingers for me? What finger am I touching? What finger am I touching? Capillary refill. I'm gonna log roll the patient, head man's count. One, two, three. Observe the back for decap VLS, sucking chest wound, paradoxal movement, flail chest segment and any impaled objects palpating down the center of the, the back for any step off, point tenderness, and spinal alignment. I'm gonna uh, check and move for wallet. Okay. Got a log roll of patient, back on the backboard. One, two, three. Z track the patient is necessary. Strap in, torso, legs, head, reassess PMSCs, and transport within 10 minutes. I'm going to uh, do my ongoing assessment, which is uh, reassessing the uh, ab poop, ABCs, vitals, and any interventions I gave to the patient. I'm checking the head, doing my detailed head to toe, uh, facial bones, eyes, nares, mouth, ears for cerebral spinal fluid, and I've got to treat any secondary injuries. Can I mess up anywhere? <laughs>